things, earthlings. Welcome back. I'm actually starting this video off with one of my favorites. I feel like I've mentioned this before. Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Obsessed. It is the most uh, just refreshing. It has like this minty flavor, but it's just like so cushiony. Lately my lips have just been really dry. Um, I need to drink more water. Also I got some new reading glasses and some new sunnies uh, from Glasses USA. I wore these in a couple of snaps and I think I'm I think I posted them on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys wanted to know so I'm going to link you know the specific links to these down below in the description box. I've mentioned Glasses USA before. I absolutely love Glasses USA. You can actually go to their website and upload a photo of yourself and you can try on different lenses so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like on your face. So that's super super fun. You can also um, give them your prescription, sunglasses, and reading glasses. So many to choose from. Yeah, I'll leave all the information down below. You guys make sure you check glassesusa.com out. So you can get a complete pair of glasses, frames, and lenses starting at only $30. And again, if you have a prescription, they do offer free basic prescription lenses that are included with every frame. And they also offer international shipping, free shipping and returns, 100% money back guarantee within 14 days and a 365 day product warranty. My personal favorites are from the Muse by Hilary Duff collection. Some really, really nice frames. So again, everything will be linked below in the description box. I have really been enjoying the YSL All-in-One Glow. This is fresh, dewy makeup. Has a natural medium coverage, it's long lasting, it's oil free. Don't even use a brush to apply this. I literally just put it on my fingertips and rub it into my face like a moisturizer and I, I just love it. It feels nice and lightweight on the skin but it covers everything. So it's a beautiful summertime foundation if you want you know, to cover, if you want that nice full coverage. Yeah, so if you want coverage but you don't want your face to feel like heavy and you know, just that foundation cakey feel in the summertime, oh my gosh, it, does, it doesn't feel good. So um, this one I've been feeling pretty good in and it's really hot where I live in Arizona. It's toasty out. Great for all skin types. If you have dry skin, oily skin, whatever, it's, I think it's like an, a very universal product. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. So this foundation is a matte, like it's a super, super matte. So to all of my girls with oily skin, you are going to love, love, love this foundation. If you have combination skin or dry skin, not a chance. Uh, it's really matte, like super, super matte. Uh, the coverage is beautiful, it's long lasting. Uh, no shade to CoverGirl. I usually don't like CoverGirl products, but uh, so it's kind of like, you know, when I was trying this, I didn't have high expectations. God, that sounds not nice. I just, uh, I was impressed. All right, CoverGirl, you did really great with this formula. I really, really enjoy it. Lately, I've been using, which kind of brings me into my next um, favorite, and that is Retin-A. Um, I've been back on my Retin-A game because I started to see my pores and what my skin really would look like if I didn't use Retin-A. Retin-A is like, I will never not use Retin-A. It's gonna forever be in my skincare routine. That stuff is so magical. So Retin-A, definitely a favorite. I'm terrible at consistency. If you've paid attention to me for a while, you probably have picked up on that. I'm not very consistent. Um, I mean, I am, but I'm not, you know? So with my skincare, Sometimes I fall off using Retin-A and then my, I just, yeah. So when I go back to using it, my skin tends to dry out a bit. So that's the phase that um, I'm currently dealing with right now is I'm just having like dryness. Uh, so I can't use this foundation right now. I'm, I'm using this one, but when my skin kind of balances back out and goes back to normal 
and looking better again, I will be able to use this. <laughs> Alright, I have a couple more favorites. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. comes in a little glass bottle. This is actually sent to me in PR. I didn't even know like who... I've never heard of this brand, so gave it a try and I'm really happy they sent it because I don't think I would have tried it. Uh, it has a nice little pump on there and it smells like... It smells like watermelon and it just smells so lovely. It's not like... I know some people say it's an overbearing scent. Um, it smells delicious and it really does a great job. Like I said, I'm, I'm using my Retin-A again, so my face is a little dry. I have like dry patches. And this is the only moisturizer that actually plumps up my skin and, you know, gets rid of those, the dry patches. And it really just hydrates my skin, like, so beautifully. Like, my skin just looks so good after I use this moisturizer. And for me, like, I don't know, maybe I've never paid attention, but I feel like when I've used moisturizers before, it's just like, okay, it's a moisturizer. Like, they all kind of just do the same thing. But with this, I feel like it does some, I feel like it, this does something different. And this video is not sponsored. I'm going really hard for you right now. <laughs> really, truly, truly love it. And I actually tried the face mask for the first time. I've been using this for like a month now, but I tried the face mask today because a lot of people were like, oh my god, if you love that, try the face mask. So I tried that. So I guess that's another favorite is the mask from Glow Recipe, the watermelon mask. My skin was so soft. And I'm telling you before, it was looking really rough because the Retin-A, again, if you're familiar with it, you know like the dryness that comes <clears throat> from that. Sometimes I might, I might use a little bit too much more than I should, but um, yeah, the dryness is no joke from Retin-A and this this in um, use with my retin -A, my skin is doing okay. <laughs> and the last beauty product is from Provana. It is the Nevo Model Behavior Styling Cream. This stuff is amazing. So a friend of mine, actually, uh, I was doing her makeup here. She brought this like, to style her hair because she was going to have like, a photo shoot afterwards. And she left this at my house. And then she was just like, oh, you can keep it. So I... It was it sat in my bathroom for a while and I was like cleaning stuff out. I was like, I'm gonna try this. I'm so mad that I waited so long to try it because I am so obsessed, you guys, with the styling cream. So what I do is <clears throat> when my hair like I let it towel dry a bit, um, how I get like the messy kind of PC whatever this is. So I towel dry my hair a bit and then I will put like a dollop of this in my palm. Um, rub it between my hands and then I'll just kind of like run it through the length of my hair and then and I'll blow dry it my head upside down and then I'll just like straighten it or wave it whatever I decide to do but it gives it this like it gives it a style I don't even really know how to explain it, it just gives it a style that I don't have if I don't use it <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, gives it like a PC PC look, but not like messy. I don't even know, you guys. Just I really like this stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. So one of my favorite songs is uh, Chelsea Cutler. Lonely alone. This song is. <sighs> I love it. Um, I listen to like a little bit of everything from like hip hop to jazz to pop to R and B to electronic. Um, the only thing I really don't listen to is like rock and roll, um, like hardcore rock and country. Like those are genres that I just don't really listen to ever. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, lately I've been more into pop and like electronic more than anything else. So yeah, this is one of my favorite songs. I'm gonna try and show you like really quick because I really need to monetize this video. <laughs> how you love me, how you acting like no is running out of and I hate Tell me you still want that I've been fucking lonely. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so my other favorite song, and I'm not gonna give you like a shit ton of songs. I'm just gonna kind of name a few. I don't want to overwhelm you with like, you know, all right. 
Alright, my next favorite song... Alright, my next... Slow down, Casey. Okay, so my next favorite song... I listen to this song probably like 20 times a day. I'm not too sure. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of information about this band, but I really, really, really love this song. And Rye, and the name of the song is called Phoenix. Listen. Oh my god, it's so good. I hear another one bites the dust. Did you guys hear that? Right? I love this song so much. Okay, and then my last, I'll give you guys three. So we have what, one more? All right, one more, one more. So this is another pop song. It is very like, I feel like I would have liked this song when I was 15, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Um, moving on to movies, right? Is that what I have next? Okay, so <clears throat> current favorite movies are, um, and I hope you guys check them out. I know everyone likes different things and movies are definitely one of those things that are, you know, personal um, to a lot of people, but I like movies about humanity that really show, like, just, you know, humans. <laughs> Um, that show the beauty of life and and also the darkness of life too. So, um, <clears throat> two of my current favorite movies, and these are just movies that I recently watched. It's my first time seeing them. So, uh, movies that I probably movies that I'd never even heard of. I just kind of came across. And uh, the first movie is Lost in Translation. This movie, uh, such a good movie, you guys. I think it just shows how we all at the end of the day just want a friend you know we don't want to be uh criticized and judged by our partners by our friends and um i mean there's so much you can take from this movie but that was like one of the things that stuck out to me the most that you know you're gonna meet or cross paths with other people that you like um so yeah it was it's a really good movie. Um, second favorite movie is Maud. Uh, and this I actually found by mistake. I just, and Anthony watched these movies with me, which I thought was really cool, because I don't think they're necessarily chick flicks, but there's a little bit of romance and stuff. So yeah, I really thought it was dope that he watched these movies with me. But yeah, so I just went, we we're looking under free movies, and I saw Maud. I really liked the the cover. So I was like, well, let's watch the trailer. So I, I clicked on it to watch the trailer, but it didn't take us to the trailer. It just put it on. So we're just like, oh, okay, I guess this, we just like jumped into it and kind of went with it. It kind of like just sucked us in. I'm so happy that we watched it because this movie was just so, so beautiful. I cried. I think Anthony cried. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Such a dope movie. I think, again, for him to like watch with me, it just it meant a lot. So if you guys haven't seen those, maybe, you know, if you're looking for your next movie, you could check one of those out. So that is going to do it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I um, hope it wasn't too boring. And I will see you guys in my next video.